Welcome everyone to the first episode of a series I thought of actually doing last year on FIFA 22, but did not get around to doing it, but I'm now finally doing it here on FIFA 23, Minnesota United crew mode in England. So obviously, Minnesota United, my favorite team in the MLS, they're by far one of my favorite teams ever. But the only problem is, I've done an MLS crew mode with them, and I want everything in one year, just because with... The MLS crew modes, you really just need to sign like two key young promising players and your team's over the hump. So I thought, okay, well, what else can I do with them? Put them in the championship. We're like a mid table side as well, so it's going to be competitive. And this is the first episode of that crew mode. As you can see here, we are in the championship, and you can see in the tables, we're actually in the championship, not just faking it. But yeah, I mean, we got a $29 million transfer budget. Which, don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but yeah, you can see we're a three-star team, so we're not one of the best teams in the division, we're not one of the worst, we are just kind of middle of the pack, so hopefully with some key signings can take us over that hump. But yeah, we got to meet the team first, so St. Clair is starting goalkeeper, that is without a doubt, he's only 25 as well, and we got pretty decent solid backups there. Left back Lawrence is definitely going to be starter from day one. Center backs, we have Boxel, who... Is Australian, but he pre he's pretty much a Brexit center back. He will just, he's not very quick, but he's very physical. He gets a yellow card pretty much every single game. Absolutely love him. And Debossi will be starting alongside him. Pretty good center back as well. We got Coleman, some experience off the bench. Right back in Metinair. Very good, young, attacking. Well, he's not young, but he's younger. And then we also got Benitez, so I'll probably figure out which one of them I'm going to start. Loan out the other one. And we got two backups in Taylor and Fisher. Defensive mids, we got Will Trapp, who uh, I, li I live near the Columbus crew, who he used to play for, so I am a fan of him in that aspect. Dotson's a very good box to box defensive mid. Araiga is just a defensive menace. And Hayes is a pr just pretty good all around player. Franco Fagapane is a player that I really look forward to using. He's very good going forward, he can play out wide. And also kind of function a little bit in the middle. But we have Jonathan Gonzalez, a center mid, who I'm probably going to convert to defensive mid if I continue to play the 4-2-3-1. But the player that is going to be the most influential, the pretty much the most important person in this entire crew mode is Emmanuel Reynoso. 79 overall. He's not quick. He's not the greatest scorer. But he's the best dribbler on the team. He's an amazing passer. He can hit them from distance. I used him, and if he's as good as he was when I used him in FIFA 22, he will just take over the series. And we've got Hong Wane and Rosales, two youngsters that I want to use in the future, just not currently. Laud uh, is a very good captain, good experience, can play pretty much anywhere in the midfield. I think in, in the playoff game, he started in that defensive mid position. And we've got Patrick Guaya, son of Guaya. Don't know. He doesn't have the greatest potential, so we'll see how that works. And the striker, we have Garcia or Anne Maria to battle for that starting spot, and Dunlotti is a bench player. But yeah, I've actually decided that we're going to go with a 4-2-2. So obviously, St. Clair is going to be in goal. Boxel, DeBossi, center backs, Metinair, Lawrence, outside backs. Pretty much the normal Minnesota United back line. Defensive mids of Trapp and Gonzalez, that's also pretty normal. But, like I said, Fargapana can play out wing or in the middle, so I'm going to put him in Reynoso as those attacking mids. Gave Reynoso... Pretty much free reign to do whatever he wants. Re also really want him to come inside because the Metinair can overlap. And then we have Amaria and Laud up top. But it's just, you know, we are a American team. Going to start the Youth Academy in the uh, North America region. So obviously physically strong players from the United States. Or get some attackers from Mexico and just any sort of players from Canada. And like I said, with that right back, we're going to loan out one of them. Decided to do that with Alan Benitez. He joins French side Montpellier for a year on loan. Patrick Awea is going to Italian side Cosenza for a year on loan. Who I might do a series with, I don't know. But we'll see how that works out. Hogwane is going to CD Tenerife over in Spain for a year on loan. Dotson is going back to the United States to join LAFC on loan. And we have our first game of the season as we are traveling to face Preston North End. Yeah, lineup is the same as it was when I showed you guys earlier. Here are the highlights. And so the battle commences. Sean Maguire. A foul, but advantage played. 
Reynoso. He's got to score! There it is! Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yes, it was a penalty for Millwall. The execution was everything. Top corner, no goalkeeper was stopping that. It's now 1-0 with 13... Now, forgive me, Alex. This could be an opportunity. And begging to be put away. In a... Vidal in the Championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Minnesota United facing Burnley. Now can they counter clinically? Fine cross into the middle. Opportunity, maybe... Oh, surely. Keeper getting the touch. And there it is. A goal. Brown. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Cross blocked. Now sending it in. And there it is. A goal. So we ended up winning our first game in the championship. Three three to one goals from Reno, San Maria, and Origa. Very good performance from the boys. And we are currently sitting top of the table. And this month, preseason and that game, so nothing much to do. Next month we got a couple league fixtures, cup game against Bolton that I might play, but no no huge important fixtures we need to play immediately. And that's the end of the episode, because this series is going to be just like my Cambridge United series, at least for this first season where each episode takes place over the course of a month, play two games. If we only play two games and nothing else happens, oh well. Or we can have, you know, eight players from the Youth Academy join Transfer Window Madness. So that's just kind of where we're at. And, oh man, I have wanted to do this series for quite a long time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. To continue, and continue watching these videos, episodes should be coming out pretty shortly, and I'll see you all in the next video.